Hi, I'm Piyush Patel, Senior Architect, Network Automation Practice, part of Red Hat Services. Hi, I'm Rima Yantel, um, Principal Telco Architect. So Rima, why do you think virtualization and containerization is key to 5G deployments and rollouts? Well, excellent question. So over the years, with the advent of radio access network and changes in it, have been few trends that we've seen uh, centralizing uh, some of the components of the network and also distributing them. With 5G specifically, we're seeing the distributed trend again, but um, for some components. And some components are still centralized, so you're seeing components in the central data center, but you're also seeing a lot of the components at the edge uh, getting decomposed. So if you have something like a virtual BBU that used to be one monolithic component part of the antenna produced by um, one vendor, now you can split it up and you can deploy it in the edge and near edge. So really close to the user who is going to be consuming the services, allowing the service provider the flexibility and the cost savings of uh, putting some of the components really close to the user. Um, and you've seen that flexibility, that virtualization adds on top of it by being able to move those components where you need them, when you need them, scale them out and scale them in as the need arises. And that lends itself really well to automation. So where do you think the automation belongs in this picture? So as you can see with the virtualization and containerization, automation is going to be key to deploy these services and scale as well as kind of the flexibility to speed the market. So you can automate components and provision and deploy components in the core. You can automate the networks, overlay and underlay networks, as well as the services and application. And again, you can kind of do the automation to enable provisioning, deployment, health checks, monitoring, metrics, and service assurance at the same time. Um, so what tool would you say would be suitable for this? So as you can see, the A stands for automation as well as Ansible. And Ansible is definitely our cho choice of tool to enable automation as a framework. Um, why would you say Ansible was the best tool for this? So and number one, Ansible is agentless. It's secure with SSH. And also it has tons of modules that can automate tasks on networks as well as data center and, our, and then servers at the same time. So it's a common framework. Um, so if I wanted to know more about Ansible, what, where would I go? You would definitely go to redhat.com or your account team to get the conversation about automating your network and data center components started.